Sometimes I wonder if there are any black people out there that are into S&M. The reason I wonder this is because if you ask me to pick a culture of people that probably will not find whipping to be erotic, <laughs> that might be my first answer. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's supposed to be, say my name, not what's your name. <laughs> what would your safe word be, Toby? That's no good. That's true, though. Have you ever thought about that? Kunta Kente invented the safe word, and he never got credit for it. I don't think that's right. <laughs> this is their crime against karaoke. They come up, all five of them, intending to sing into one fucking microphone. <laughs> and it's always the same song. Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. I've seen it a hundred times. They start off really strong out of the gate, but there is a sharp drop in quality, and it always comes at the exact same point. Here's how it goes. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. <laughs> Anaconda don't want It offends me as a feminist. And that, oddly enough, is not the worst group of offenders. That would be on the opposite end of that spectrum. People that take it way too fucking seriously. Oh my God, it is karaoke. Sit the fuck down. Just relax. They'll ask me what key is it in. The fuck does it matter what key it's in? Do you go to McDonald's and order shit medium rare? No. I emphasize no because you might actually do that, you fucking bitch. I'll start the song. They'll get a few bars into it and then turn around. No, no, this is not the right version. This is not the right version. Find the one with the d this display and it's in that key. Find that version. Oh, it's the wrong version. Well, it's also the wrong fucking singer. All right, perspective. You are a late 40s soccer mom in a sequin sparkly shirt with way too much eye makeup. You don't look like Marvin Gaye to me. I'm gonna drop a metaphor on you to better explain that, all right? Karaoke is to live vocal performance what UFC is to gay porn. <laughs> it's close to the real thing, but not quite there. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, the next time a UFC event is on TV, if you have a DVR, record it. Play it in slow motion. Then on your stereo, play Endless Love. <laughs> not only does it fit, but it is fucking beautiful. <laughs> it's like Wizard of Oz and the Dark Side of the Moon, but you don't have to be stoned and it works the first time. <laughs> I, I have a day job. I work for a satellite TV company. I can't directly tell you which one, but it's that one. <laughs> and they have sports packages for fucking everything. They got football, baseball, basketball, hockey, fucking soccer. This is America, and they have a soccer package that you can buy. No NASCAR package. Have you noticed that? But this same company offers an additional service for $4.99 per month. That is $4.99, you fuckers, called Dog TV, which is produced and intended to be viewed by dogs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like where they decided to draw that line. <laughs> Who would be a better demographic for us, NASCAR fans or dogs? And they went with dogs. <laughs> We win that round. <laughs> I'm really glad there were people alive throughout history to do really great things. Because our generation, some of you younger people might want to pay attention to this, our generation is the shittiest, most useless bunch of technologically dependent, retarded pieces of shit in the, all of history. 
that ever lived anywhere, anytime, that's us. If it was us alive throughout history, none of that shit would have ever got done. Or maybe it would have, but it would have been our shitty version of it. You know what I mean? Like the Declaration of Independence, one of the greatest pieces of American writing, would have been a status update on Facebook. <laughs> you wouldn't have that iconic signature. You would have John Hancock likes this. <laughs> would not be the same. Ben Franklin, he would have tied the kite to his dick and his friend would have filmed it giggling put it on YouTube, it would have gone viral, ended up on Tosh.0 or some shit like that. <laughs> it's not the same. Nobody wants to read the Twitter feed of Anne Frank. <laughs> Through all this, I still believe people are basically BFFs. Winky face. Hashtag Nazi is WTF. <laughs> Brownie face. That's what our generation has done. Internet abbreviations really, really pisses me off. I mean, if you're on Facebook at one o'clock on a fucking Wednesday, write the whole word. You got time. <laughs> you don't have to be anywhere. How much time are you saving by typing R instead of A-R-E? Actually, if you're stupid enough to do that, you're probably saving quite a bit of time. That's not my point. <laughs> a lot of them are, are just fucking stupid. People will write Cray instead of crazy. Just because it takes off a syllable doesn't mean you're saving any effort. I mean, I think the reason people do that, instead of writing crazy, they'll write cray because they suspect in the back of their minds that Lieutenant Murtaugh was right and they are too old for this shit. <laughs> he was less a beleaguered policeman and more of a prophet. I don't even know what a lot of them mean. You know, like IDK. What, what does IDK mean? What does IDK mean? Nobody does. It's horse shit. I have asked a lot of people. Nobody knows. I'm tired of it. 